And here we have the kitten's first bath. What you do is you fill up a sink with a little bit of water and let the cat roam around the sink until it gets comfortable with the situation. Next step, play with the water. Show the kitten that it's water. Bring your hand up, let her smell it. Put some on her paw, maybe on her body. Don't let her jump off. Now she understands she's getting wet, but she's not fully soaked. She's not afraid yet. Now you, hopefully your cat will just decide to jump into the water and love it. But most cats don't, so what you're going to have to do is put it in there nice and slow so she gets comfortable with it. One. So, another step, you get your hands wet, pick up the kitten, and let it hover under water. She looks at the situation, put her paws in, and then she meows. What you want to do is see if she'll stand in there on her own. As you can see, she's a little scared. If that's the case, simply hold her in a comfortable position. Okay. And just pour water on her. You can use a small cup. I use my hand. And you see how comfortable the kitten is. Now, if your kitten decides to scratch and run, which she's thinking about doing, you can always grab him right here behind the neck. And they just basically get paralyzed, and you can still hold them nice and easy, and give them a wash, and they understand what's going on. And they feel safe when they're paralyzed, because they know you're doing it for a reason, and they just go with it. Once you've gotten the kitten fully wet, you can just go ahead and let it sit in the sink and it'll examine the situation. Again, it understands you're not hurting it. If you take your time while you do this, it'll make her comfortable with the situation for a future bath. Now, she's going to try to get out. I'm going to keep her in here and just try to wash her. I'm going to use some Dawn dish soap. So, I let the kitten sit out if she wants to while I keep most of her body down here in the water. Get the Dawn dish soap everywhere I can. And one more thing, if you remember when we started, we had the water ready and we didn't have the water running. Because if you bring the cat in here and the water's running, she's going to hear the noise, she's going to see the movement and try to run away with fear. We did let this cat watch the water fill up from a distance. So she understood the water was uh, flowing, but she wasn't near it to freak out. So when we did bring her close by, she kind of had an idea of the situation. So again, you're just going to get everywhere you can. Avoid getting any water in the ears, the mouth, and the eyes. You want to wash everything down. And then the head area nice and easy. And when you're done washing the cat, you can uh, go ahead and just get all the soap off of her by pouring the water that you already have. So what I like to do is get rid of that and allow the cat to understand flowing water. Right now, her heart just started beating even more, but she feels comfortable and she's not trying to run. You make it warm, and you let her see it hit her body. Now, I'm not holding her tight. She's just relaxed and trusting me right now. She's something new to her. It's the first bath she's ever had. Now I'm holding her right here behind the neck. Getting everywhere I can. Let's see if she'll just stand up. Kind of. Okay. You can go ahead and get them right there alongside their mouth, around their nose. Get really dirty. And pretty much, you just put, wrap them up in a towel, dry them up, and you'll be good to go. And they get cold pretty easily. She's shivering right now, but she'll be fine. 
And here you have the finished product. One clean kitten shivering in a blanket waiting for your love. So you want to dry them off nice and easy and let the cat walk away. She'll dry herself off. Might take 20 minutes to an hour, but she'll be fine. And back to playing in no time. Thanks for watching. Magic J teaching you how to clean a cat. Spur of the moment video.